What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak about Ready Player One, and in particular, gamer addiction. So just recently, I went to the cinemas with the wife and I watched the movie. By the end of it, I was like, whoa, that was profound. Like, that was a pretty hardcore movie when I think about it. Like, it was fun with all the pop cultural references, but it had a much deeper, darker side to it. Well, my wife watched it, she walked away, and she's actually not a native English speaker, so she didn't even get most of the pop cultural references. But she was like, I don't really understand what it's getting at. Like, what, what's kind of happening? They're trying to win a game? But for me, it was really profound. Now, the reasons being is because back about 10 years ago, I was a hardcore online World of Warcraft gamer. There was a period of about three years where my life was just linked to this game intimately. Everything I did happened in this game from the moment I finished work to the moment I fell asleep, from the moment I woke up to the moment I started work and even during my lunch breaks. It was a hardcore gaming experience. I actually think about World of Warcraft as closer to like cigarettes or smoking or something like that because it's so addictive. Now you're probably thinking why? Like if you've seen like pictures of it but you've never played it, it, it doesn't look that great, the graphics, you know. But World of Warcraft is not just a game it's a social experience. You build up friendships and entire relationships through this game. And what I saw in Ready Player One was World of Warcraft taken to the extreme and to the dangerous. Now the crazy thing is, it's going to happen. World of Warcraft rakes in millions of dollars a month through this online gaming experience slash social experience where people basically log in and there's their friends and they go hang out with their friends, they do things together. If you took away the social aspect of World of Warcraft, it would be a shit game. But it's the social aspect that makes it amazing. And if you gave it insane graphics like Ready Player One, virtual reality, it would happen. People would live in this game. And it makes me wonder what would happen to the human race if the majority of people start playing it. It would get to the point where we would grind to a stop evolution wise because we would no longer go outside the game to try to discover the stars when in the game there's something so much better. You can just fly to the stars, you build new stars, you know, whatever. But we would be stuck in this kind of static, unevolving state and the gaming economy would take over every aspect of our lives. It would get to the point where they would probably have food shortages if enough people played this game because people would stop doing their real life chores to try and get games within or try and get money from within the game. Could you imagine it? Like the farmers, okay, they're working on their farms, they're mass producing food, whatever, and their kids are just playing these games and they don't really want to follow their dad. They want to become virtual gold farmers, virtual farmers within this game because there's so much better rewards than, you know, digging in the field in the real life. And if you take it to its extreme, it would become devastating for the human race. So when I watched that film, it was a fun film by the end of it, but I also saw how they were getting at the aspects that, you know, we saw the mother standing on the couch. She was playing the game while her kid was like, mom, mom, you know, the food. And everyone just had a quick laugh at that type of thing. But it would get to that. People will start neglecting their responsibilities outside a game just to live within this virtual world where you can be whoever you want, whatever you want, to look like what you want, to do what you want. And the only thing holding us back would be I need to make money. And you know what the crazy thing is? When I played World of Warcraft, there was people who found ways to make money in that game. So it took over their entire lives. And a game like Ready Player One, in real life, that shit would be devastating. Anyway, that's the end of this film. I don't know if that's like too hardcore for you guys. I just wanted to kind of cover that because I've done the whole hardcore gaming thing and I loved it. I absolutely love it. I love the online experience. But I also see the dangers in it. So that's it. I'm not going to threaten you guys because the world's threatening enough.